Hi everyone, this is Hayden Master Healer coming to you guys. Um, this is a quick um, reading and, and explanation and telling you guys about witchcraft in the NBA industry. Um, this video I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been telling you guys um, who've been following this channel um, since the beginning of this year that I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. So today, today is what, July 27, 2021. So I'm going to timestamp that, um, July 27, 2021 so that um we will dive in first to begin um when coming to, to the nba just like a lot of sports you made soccer even in um like in africa and different things like that um tennis i talk about tennis i told you a lot of times um even golf especially um you see that with tiger woods a lot of injuries a lot of problems a lot of times a lot of people would do stuff you know the whole long next um player or you're my artist or somebody like that. You know I mean, anytime you see you on top, somebody gonna always be coming to try to take your throne from you. And the bigger you are, you always need to have a spiritual team around you. You know, some not no pastor who talking um prosperity gospel and all that stuff. Somebody who know how to to really spiritually protect you. This is no Harry Potter um stuff. This is real spiritual dealing with in order to protect your clients because remember as long as you have big name um artists out there whether like lebron james um you james harden anyone like you know i mean a Russell, um westbrook and, and these guys russell and uh, westbrook and all these guys and them they will get spiritual attack um you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of jealousy you mean sports even entertainment in the music industry um music industry is one of the worst um then i would say come down to like um besides um even hollywood too if you're an actor or actress um your name is ringing a lot other hollywood actors actresses they they get jealous um i'm telling you i know that i know this that fact and they try to take each other out um spiritually and sometimes they will block you from getting roles um the same thing too in the nba um also too um you see a lot of players getting injured um sometimes you see close to like an nba final or like playoff time all of a sudden they've been playing good whole time whole season the minute they start to hit the playoffs you see they just get injured like that a lot of times people um pay big money um to take out um certain players did you guys remember when, when the golden state warriors was was winning um championship upon championship and did you guys remember the year when the golden state warriors um had um um clay thompson um he got injured then you see um durant kevin durant get injured with his knee trying to come back um that night um which i, I find he should have never even come back because i tell everybody say you're gonna get injured you're gonna injure himself and um you see you see um um drummond green he had got injured too um steph curry had got injured you guys don't realize it it, it, it was a suspect to see that uh, um a big name golden state warriors who was winning a couple championships one after the next you see coming off to, to the playoff that you see all the star players get injured at the same time and you guys didn't realize and put two and two together and realize that it's a lot of witchcraft that does goes on in, in the NBA industry because it's easy to if somebody know what they're doing um you can easily um put a hex on a, on a player to injure them you understand what i'm saying don't let them make the playoff it happened in soccer a lot of times um you see that in, in, in africa and europe and stuff in english football people could do that you can do that in boxing too let's see if he's a boxer um i um I, I remember one time you guys was watching when floyd mayweather was fighting um manny pacquiao and one time you see his mother um manny pacquiao mother was in the ring and she was doing all kind of prayers and all kind of stuff i don't know if you guys remember that the manny pacquiao uh, mother a lot of people saying like like manny pacquiao uh, mother was doing some kind of um juju all kind of stuff and, and floyd mayweather but it didn't really work now but a lot of times it do happen you know what I'm saying? I even saw that in the George Zimmerman case. Um, when, 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 when I told everybody straight up that George Zimmerman was going to walk away from um, from that case. I even predicted that um, years ago, even before the case started. Because when I realized his mom was from Peru, 
his, his dad was Jewish. Um, and when I saw his mom in a courthouse, um, sit down in the court, I already don't know what time it was. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Because only if you're on a spiritual level to understand how you can win um, a case is very easy. You know, people who do real high science spiritual work will be able to understand what it is I'm talking about. So it's the same thing goes in sports. You could do it in, in court. You can do it in a lot of games and stuff. People can, can hex you. People can do different stuff. You know, to throw that person off in tennis. You see that in women tennis. I just did a video about, about um, witchcraft in, in the tennis industry. I talked about that a long time. It goes on in golf um, also too. People can spend big money to take out somebody if you're winning. If you use the person out there winning, it's the same thing in the music industry. If you're a person ringing, your name ringing too much, other artists just be jealous. I know that a fact because I, I, I've seen it with my own two eyes. It goes on a lot of times right in front of our eyes on national TV a lot of times. And you guys might be laughing and thinking, yes, some players um, do get injured. Um, yes, because of wear and tear and the bodies and stuff. Yes, but sometimes, a lot of times, I'm telling you guys, I've seen it a lot of times, that a lot of witchcraft do play. Also, to a lot of um, star players too, um, in the NBA, they go messing around with some of the wrong women also too. Some of these guys need to be careful with some of the backgrounds of these women. He does not know where these women from. Some women could be coming from 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 different Santeria. They could be coming from from Orisha. They could be messing. They could be all undercover witches, um, doing all kind of witchery, doing New Age magic. They could be doing gypsy magic. Um, you see, with a lot of players, a lot of players that I could I could I could call out there and say like James Harden. Um, first to begin, James Harden. If you happen to be listening, please, guys, please let him see this video, please. First of all, James Harden is wearing the wrong jersey. You've been wearing number 13. And if you know, 13 in numerology is bad luck. That is considered number 4. And that is why you see um, he can never win a championship. Number 1 is his jersey. Number 2, you can see that he had some gypsy spell magic was put on him um, by one of his ex-girlfriend. And, um... That is number two for James Harden. Um, what's his name? Um, Westbrook. Also wearing the wrong jersey, number four. Number 13 is a number four. In numerology, those are bad lucky numbers. Those are not lucky numbers. Westbrook, change your number. If, if Russell Westbrook here in this, you guys let him know. Change our number four jersey. Um, James Harden, 13 is a number four. You, you're going in a building, anything like that, you don't have a 13-4. Um, in numerology 13 especially is, is bad luck especially in Asian cultures and stuff nobody wears 13 you don't go on a 13 floor um, I, I talk about that um, when coming to choosing homes you guys can scroll down to the video I talk about when choosing a home you want to make sure you're choosing the right home and, and having the right address home um, is very big also in numerology is the same concept also too so James Harden wearing number 13 does a no no he needs to change that jersey I need to clean up himself spiritually um, because a lot of things was done to him. That's why he always keep getting injured. He wearing the wrong jersey and he keep getting injured because he needs to clean up himself spiritually. Russell Westbrook ran the wrong number, number four. Um, four is a bad lucky number. Also, again, he needs to change that jersey too. That's why he never win no championship. Also, too. Um, Derek Rose. Oh my gosh. Don't talk about Derek Rose. Derek Rose been. Um, you notice with Derek Rose, Derek Rose was always getting injured. From since he was the Bulls, um, always getting injured, always getting injured because a lot of hex um, things was put on him. Also because um, certain women he messed with back in the day that that make sure to hurt him or um, to make sure that he don't ever win any champion. He always keep getting injured. Um, as he came back um, with the Knicks, he really put on a lot of performance. But you need to change that jersey number four. Those are bad lucky jerseys, um, bad lucky numbers in numerology number four. Um, number 13, 13 is a 4. So, so Derek Rose, Westbrook, um, James Harden. You look at the pattern with all of them, the all numbers come, come down to number 4 in numerology. And you see that they, they, they haven't won a championship. And those are bad, lucky numbers. So, if these guys see this, let them know the spiritual fixer. Send this message for them. It's the best free advice they're going to ever get. Change those jerseys that they win. Number 2. Um, once again, Devin Booker, need to get rid of number one jersey. Number one, it's not a good number. Number one and number four. I talk about that even Holmes also too. And Devin Booker need to change that jersey. Um, 
from, from number one, change it to something else different. Two is good, three is good. Um, when you look at LeBron, I think he was play, um, I think it's 23, it's five, five is not bad. Um, Steph Curry, uh, yeah, he's not bad also too. So your numbers th th that these guys play with have a lot to do with the prosperity and the luck, and a lot of people don't understand. You know, number seven is good. Um, Kyrie Irving, I think he's number 11. That's not bad, that's a good number. Um, Durant, I think he plays number seven, I believe. Um, if I'm not sure, you guys could comment. But a lot of these numbers that they're playing, and a lot of women have done stuff to, to some of these guys. That is why the career are done. Some of them keep getting injured. Some of them haven't won championships because sometimes a lot of these guys and stuff that um they, they come out, um, especially like like let's say when they now get drafted, and so, some of these guys they now started. You have to be careful with these women. Sometimes you can't. Some of these um, NBA players have money. They want to smash these women and just dumb them. You can't do that because he does not know who is smashing and dumping. Some woman straight up is not going to put up with that. They're going to destroy you. And I always tell people that straight up. You have to be careful with some of these women because some of these guys just looking at a pretty face, but they're not looking at the background where these women and them come from. You do not know who the family is. The family could be some kind of big um, priestess or some big Orisha elder, or, or, or they could be in voodoo. They could be they could be in all kind of stuff. They could be in Palo Mayombe, they could be um, Santeria, they could be all different things. So these people, these guys don't understand, they just want to smash. But they're not checking and, and realizing the background where these women and them come from. A person background could tell you a lot. So a lot, most people, especially us black folks, we look at people on the outside. And we're not checking people background. A person background, you always have to check especially when you're doing business or, or when you're lying down with someone or if you're married in, into a family you gotta check people um backgrounds and, and do a research see that in people from kenya see that in people from um from ghana and nigeria and all these things you know when coming to, to, to the continent of africa culture um tr everything is tribal tribal and culture but everything is tribes so the tribes are going to the tribes that they come from so some people um tribes might be on a different level from some um some people tribes just the same like on india they have a caste system some people tribes even the continent um is considered to be like in a caste system also too some 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 tribes look down on each other so some tribes might be a dominant um tribe in kenya you might be like let's say whoever the prime the president of kenya or prime minister um whoever that tribe he's from he might be um he might be from one of the most dominant tribe in kenya so things like that people need to understand you have to understand culture i even did a video i'm going to post that talking about different cultures understanding people culture can really help you a lot so some of you guys in the nba and now they some of these guys and them star players they need to know who you're messing with and a lot of these guys straight up need to be spiritually cleansed clean up themselves and they need to get rid of them jerseys that they have and they need spiritual protection and they have to be careful who they're flying out, who they're flying in, and who they're, they're sleeping with. Because who you're sleeping with can make you and destroy you at the same time. You'll talk about, and I'll do our next video another time, talking about the um, witchcraft in the NFL. It's the same concept. It, it, it do happen in the NFL a lot of times too. See a lot of um, NFL players um, getting a career just messed up, they're getting injured, a lot of things. People can do you that very easily. And that is why I created this channel to bring awareness to, um, from a spiritual aspect to let you guys that it have witchcraft in nearly in in, in, in in sports, entertainment, in the workplace. It's all over. It's watching you. It is in media, everything. People now will, will spend money now by different people to take your life out, destroy you, make you lose everything, make you walk out and leave your wife, your husband. You see that in the NBA. You see sometimes NBA players. They have the nice little wife, everything going for them to have the kids. All of a sudden, just so you see, you start messing with some little side chick. Side chick went out by somebody, spent some money. She mash up your home. You and your baby moms, you and your wife, you and your nice little young little pretty wife. You all fighting each other. You want to stab, you want to kill each other. That is how it's go down. I've seen it happen many times. I have a lot of clients, as I say, um, come to me because I have to clean them up and, and get them right. Because um, they go and mess with the wrong Jezebel. Um, out there, you understand what I'm saying? No? And people using all kind of high science magic 
and entrap um, some of these young men because some of these young guys also too you see that with some of these young um, basketball players that now come in um, the, the NBA um, you see some of them get the evil eye and you see they start to get injured you see that with young Zion from um, um, the Pelicans um, just come in because you see when you're high profile now and, and you're all your eyes in you you see that happened to Lavar um, um, son the first one the one who, who was playing for the Lakers I forget his name um, um, the, one of the young Lavar boys I think it's um, the boys and um, one of the young guys and them from, from the Lakers the Lavar kids Alonzo, yeah, you see that happened to him. I think it was Lonzo, I believe. Yes, he started to get injured a lot. Um, those are sometimes, these guys and them get the evil eye. And they have to protect themselves spiritually. So, so as much as they have all this money around them, they're making all this money, I am not seeing them having spiritual protection. They could call Jesus, whatever it is they want to call. Sometimes they need more than Jesus. And a lot of people just think that uh, when a cross, and you, know, you need more than that. You need real need spiritual protection like some of these big name artists and stuff who 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 been consistent been successful is the same way so as i just want to say quick up these guys straight up need to change the jerseys they are bad luck any any artist um any um nba player out there who wear number four number one number 13 you guys need to change these jerseys those are bad lucky numbers um, if you guys understand numerology and you and you guys um, understand spiritual um, business, I would recommend that any one of these players get rid of these jerseys. That's why also too, these jerseys are bad luck. That's why you guys always keep getting injured. You never win no championship. You guys always come close and it's, uh, and you see hell back because a lot of you guys have gypsy spells in you. Um, some of you guys know who it is. I'm not going to say who it is. A lot of gypsy magic went down on some of these players. That is why I see um, they keep getting injured and they reach in very close and they never win a championship. But until they clean up themselves spiritually and change some of these jerseys, you will see a difference in um in the playing and, and they'll be able to get over that hump. You see that with James Harden, you never be able to get over that hump. You play with number 13. So you see a lot of things a lot of you guys don't know. And I'm trying to peep game and shoot, teach you guys 13 is no good. Number four is no good. Devin Booker need to get rid of number one number, and he know what else again to do again to. And you guys need to be careful. Who you guys sleeping with? Who you guys sleeping with? Some of these women and them have generational curses um, that they can they can hurt you in life. And some of you guys and them need to always check and make sure when you're on a certain level and you have and you guys have unlimited money. Some of you guys need to check out these ladies and them that who you getting involved. They do like some of the, my high-end clients they always check with me to make sure who they're dealing with they don't come after get involved and then tell me yeah well i need to check no you check with me first you know what i'm saying they always check with me first so i could give them the right guidance because you never know who's behind that pretty face and that nice body you need to check them out whether it's a man or a woman there's a woman same thing too you need to check out that man before you get involved don't get involved and then you want to go by somebody to find out what's going on you always check things out that is why other races other nationalities always still winning that is why some of us still losing because we doesn't want it to, to, um, to check things or that we will spend money and waste money on the wrong stuff but the first thing I always tell everybody you want to have a good lawyer you have a good stylist you, you, um, you have a good hairdresser or you have a good barber Make sure and have one of the best um, spiritual readers and one of the best um, spiritual people out there. It's not about me to find the right person that connect with you. It's not about me. I'm just telling you guys, find everybody needs to have a spiritual fixer in their life and, a, and a somebody to read for them. Because all the wealthy people that I know, all the millionaires out there, they all have readers. They have people to check every business move to make sure that the move that they're making is correct. That is benefiting them and the family some of us black folks we caught up in the wrong stuff we will waste money on gucci and prada and bentley's and all them stuff and your spiritual life is not protected you spend all this money and i've seen a lot of these guys wasting all this money on jewelry and ice and all that stuff i don't care what they care but protect yourself guys and ladies protect yourself a lot of you ladies out there that's out there that's um flossing but I'm not seeing half of you guys have no spiritual protection. That is why a lot of you gonna be on top today, and then tomorrow you guys will be down. And the ones who surviving, they have the spiritual protection behind the scenes, and that is the key. 
all right so peace love and blessing like subscribe share and we talk about the witchcraft in the nba industry and i hope you guys let some of these players know get rid of them jerseys number 13 number four is number one no good that is why they never win any championship they always come close and they always keep getting injured that's one and some of them have spiritual hex and them and and that is why they cannot win no championship they always keep getting injured um lebron and all too as much as he with all the resources he and all need to protect himself um all these guys and them people don't want to see them keep winning so what they will do it like what they did the golden state warriors remember that year with these guys and them that is why you see all of them get injured at the same time peak that all the star players the top four um clay thompson um german green um and the other two guys um um durant and and what's his name steph curry the all four the main players get injured it wasn't a coincidence keep game guys peace love and blessings i know i'm talking and i have my receipts i'm telling you guys that's how it go down so i'm teaching you guys and showing you guys it go down in tennis it goes on in the NBA, it goes on in the NFL. I'm gonna peep and call out some names also too in the NFL. I see it all the time. You have to have spiritual eyes. A lot of people say they could read. You know, this is no tarot shit. This is things that I see with my own two spiritual eyes. I see it all the time. I watch it and I see it all the time. So peace, love and blessings. You guys be hearing more from me. Bye.